Hi everyone. Morning. Uh, welcome back to Now About Moonshine. Don't know what, what are we doing today? You're doing that window. I'm sanding the wall and painting it and then put another coat on this side as well. Yeah, that's got another two, hasn't it, that one? So mm -hmm. that, we can get that done today for sure. Yeah. Um, lots of things going on as usual. Um, not quite sure what we're up to. We know we're doing that in the short term. So I've got to seal that window, glue that one in and seal that one. And um, I don't know what else we're doing. You got my lady friend coming about the curtain. <laughs> yeah, Pat's coming to measure off the curtain. That's my lady friend, for God's sake. And and it is it is high time I got the collar out for the oh, yeah. the flu yeah the flu and looked at the fabrication of that. So what I've got to do is fit the collar and then uh, chop the chimp the flu itself. So the entrance to the stove and the collar is is square and not and then get that TIG welded up. Dave, you're the man. Uh, <laughs> So we can, we can maybe even get that fire on temporarily from a, t a temporary fuel tank or something. Maybe. Uh, that's that. We're pricing kitchens up. <clears throat> and um, I've, I've, I'm seeing how much I can get for both my kidneys. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, <laughs> just for a couple of, years, <laughs> couple of boxes and they're like 1,500 quid. Gee, oh man. <clears throat> Same curved I don't... ones, are not they? Yeah, it's because Fr Franny Adams here wants the nice curve. No, I'm gone here. Okay, you go did. on, okay. It's, it's easy to blame somebody you and, and he'll do. You said that'd be nice to finish it off. It would be. Those little, yes, it would be nice it to It would be nice, off. but those curve units, like £400 each, and they said, yeah. <coughs> excuse me. So anyway, yes, we've got stuff to do, in we? So we'll crack on to where that comes, where that ends up. Um, we, we, just, we have pounding some ideas about their interior... <clears throat> Those interior bulkheads, we're trying to come up with a different idea, some kind of feature wall or something. Not quite. Because we moved the fridge, now that's all exposed. So, again with the narrow boat, you make one change and it, and it impacts another two or three, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, so anyway, we'll get on to that in a bit. Let's see if we get on, we, we get cracking, and uh, like always, we'll be bouncing between five or six jobs all at the same time. Yeah. Right, let's go. Yeah. All right, friends, doing a bit of sanding. Getting ready to paint this side wall. Uh, we've got to bomb this one in. And also this uh, this fridge. Uh, yeah, someone suggested uh, a smaller fridge. You should have seen Fran's face when I said that. <laughs> We're keeping this fridge. <laughs> okay, so... Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? Well, to be honest, it's a great... So many fridges are too small on a narrow boat, so we're trying to overcome that. Yeah, it's ram solid, wasn't it? Yeah. So, anyway, so if you look on here, there's some tags on the back of here that are there to space to give you a, a bit of airflow at the back of the fridge. But we don't need that those really because there's tons of space all around here. Or good or so, they're coming off. So there's, there's about 10 mil there. And I'm also going to cut out this piece here uh, again, just to allow it to go back maybe another 10 mil. Uh, so if if we can get if we can get an inch back, then I'm gonna I'm gonna take that. Uh, we've got a plan for this, but uh, that'll all come clear at some point when I say plan. Um, let's cut. I'm gonna cut this out, cut those tags off, and 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 I've marked on the wall where the where it was, and that will give me an indication of what I've the man I've managed to push it back. So happy days, I'm gonna crack on with that. Pretty sure this doesn't do very much for my warranty on this fridge. Okay. But it's only these plastic tags I'm gonna cut these off. They're nice stuff, I know they are, that's what I'm saying, but in, in the true sense of the word it might not do our warranty much good, but hey ho. Should I put an hole in the fridge though? No no no. No, it's just it's just plastic, this is. Can we shoot this What? Can we shoot this one? Go on to. Right, that's those off. Hey, never knew I was a refrigeration in here as well. Not sure this counts. Uh, yeah, there's there's ten mil saved off the back of there. There's plenty of air gap here, so I don't need them. Right, there it is. Oh, hang on. Cool. 
Um, yeah, so that's that's obviously cut out. There's a bit of a chamfer on that as well, just give me that little bit more. So all I'm gonna do is put a very thin piece of ply in the back of there, I bond that in, so it's uh, the integrity of the, the inner lining is okay. Uh, and then once it's all painted over, it, it, that'll be fine. So, uh, right, I'll push the fridge in and see what we've got. Right, happy days, so there's happy, so that's, that's all right. Men's gear back, I say a good inch. Um, you can see how it sits in there now. I'm gonna make all that good, like I said. Uh, and all it means is the decorative end will come out to here. So it, I think that'll look fine, I really do. Uh, and to be honest, it's opened the whole kitchen up, hasn't yeah, it? So, yeah, it looks so it's the right, right really decision, definitely. right decision. More decisions about the interior, that, that wall now, because that, that's not gonna do. So we've got some ideas on that, but stay tuned for that one. Right, uh, this one's the last window to be bonded in. Still a bit of trimming to do on that one. You've just uh, I've sanded all the walls. Sanded all the walls down. That's ready for paint. I've just got to chop some of them, them beam, the beams, whatever you call them. Then that trim, that, that it's anything trim. What is it? Well, ah, wood. <laughs> just, just, just stop the doors. Just, the doors have the got no catches on them at the moment, so I've just got to cut them back so we can paint behind them. Uh, bond this window in. Paint. And paint. Yeah, we want to get the last two coats on this one. As many coats on this one as we can get. Yeah. Paint. We'll have enough paint, I think. I think we'll have enough paint for that. <coughs> right, right, let's press on. One jobs. <laughs> Fans painting still. This had three coats now, hasn't it? This side? Yeah. Three, three coats. Three on there. I'm just and we're going to put another one on there. Um, and you just. The first one, first one on this side. Uh, I'm just uh, cladding this with uh, Thermowood VTNG. Reason being, um, we still have some wriggle room on that dinette position. I, I, I can move it, uh, it's, it's, even though it's screwed together, it's not screwed to the floor. So now the fridge is in place, I want to get that clad so I know my, I know I've got the spaces for the units that need to go in there. So I'm on with that. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. Well, <laughs> sometimes it is. Uh, still quite windy though, eh? Yeah, it's they're quite and choppy rainy. and rainy and sunshine yeah, and, think, ale. and ale i think the only thing we haven't had today is snow but yeah typical saturday afternoon for us cracking on cracking on uh pat's just been to measure up for the curtains hasn't she yeah my lady friend <laughs> your lady friend for god's sake that'll stick that will <laughs> um she's just been to measure up for the curtains and taken the material in that way so that's good it's um it's quite good uh this is what we have to try and think about is always that step we need like in a month's time so enjoying your sunday afternoon always oh. <laughs> it's therapeutic painting do you know some i've done my painting now because there's no there's nothing to think about is there no, no. no uh yeah we have <laughs> <laughs> i might do paint tray i might do paint tray because the paint tray we had we didn't wash out properly so there's all bits coming off it and we bought a new one, but somebody left it in B&Q. Yeah, that's in B&Q still, but look at it. Oh, well. Uh, right, we've done that little, I've done that little filling piece by Fran's head. Just a little thin piece of ply in there, uh, bonded in with some CT1, and we'll just paint over that. It might not be the best thing in the world, but you won't see it, and we're trying to make a, still make a good job of it, even though it's behind the fridge. So that's done, so we can't paint that at the moment. Uh... We've got we've we've got a solution for the walls and the the end for the fridge now, but you'll have to stay tuned for that. Uh, what else are we doing? What have I just done? I can't even bloody remember. Um, one of the things I find with silicon is the more I mess with it, the more mess it gets. So um, I tend to do a pass, and then if it needs a touch up later, then I'll go and do that. Uh, don't think masking tape works. It works okay on things like solar panel brackets. But around awkward windows like this, not so much. And that CT1 is really quite liquid, if that makes sense. Not, it's not liquid, but it's the viscosity is a little bit less than uh, I think normal silicon. Hey, hey ho.
Right, so um, you can obviously see there's all woodwork up there at the moment. That's not really fixed in too tightly in that corner. So let me just show you the drawing on there. Uh, you can pause the video, I guess, if you want to look at that closely. So, um, before that wood comes down, I, I, I want to line the fire up. I cut the flue outlet for the fire so I can I know where my exit point is going to be. Once the flange is all done, I will then uh, cut the flue because there's going to be a dog leg in it. Not much of one, but there is one. Because Harworth uh, strongly recommend that the, the flues do not enter the the stove at an angle or the collar so they need to be vertical obviously I can't cut the flue until I know where the flange is going to be so my first job really is to to draw a line on the woodwork oh where am I going to do that okay that's three down or three out I might, really, I might have to move a couple of those cables as well. A little bit close, maybe into the corner. Let's see where the collar ends up first. Okay, I've, uh, I've just put some vertical lines down, some bits of wood really, to the collar. Where are we? There. Plumb line's no good, they ain't gonna work on a boat. Speed level, they ain't gonna work on a boat. So yeah, I've wired it up to where that's gonna be. Uh, and, and sort of in the center of this, uh, this wall here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick a, an exploratory drill through there, poke it out the ceiling. Uh, roof, the roof, roof, right out the top. So I can make sure, I, I'm pretty sure it's okay, but I, that, that finds my centre then for, um, for cutting out, okay? Do they say fortune favours the brave? Right, here we go. I have to do it that way because it's the slope of the roof. Should have my safety glasses on there, but I did shut my eyes. <laughs> uh, let's go and have a look outside, shall we? It's a very rough day today. Okay, it's still extremely rough today, so apologies if it's too windy, but I've got our little wind sock pet thing on. Well, it is the collar, there's the hole I've just drilled in the centre. So I just want to mark this up, keeping an eye on my camera so it doesn't end up in the drink. I just need to make a circle here and this will be my roof entry which is pretty much where I wanted it to be strangely enough that's a fairly large hole though Hope you can hear me, it's, um, it's still blowing a hoolie. Right, so, bit of welding required. Luckily I know a few welders. Um, basically, we want this bit to be vertical. We oh, can't see me, probably a good thing. Uh, this bit to be vertical, and obviously the deck flange is sloping. So, just space some wood up there, and let's move that a little bit. That work? Uh, maybe. Um, let's see if that works. Right. So um, this deck plunge goes over there, and if I space it like so, then hopefully you can see the deck plunge is parallel to the roof, but the 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 the, the extended part where the flue will come through the middle is now is now horizontal or vertical, I should say that. Yeah, the top's horizontal, so the chimney will sit all vertically. 
Um, so basically the idea is when you've got it positioned in this at this point you 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 tack weld it that might be a bit awkward uh, um, I was yeah. about a bit. not the best day today but i'm going to try and quickly put some tags on this roof collar if i've been lining up uh, before it chucks it down again i've just borrowed a welder all i need to do is tag it and then my mate dave's going to seem well wealthy for me okay i'll just pick you up a little bit right so there you go uh there's the hole and you can see the collar follows the slope of the roof and this uh i'm gonna say collar um upright then is horizontal where the the chimney stack will go on top Okay, I've cut some packing pieces because um, the big blocks are a bit too much. Ah, didn't need all those, okay. Uh... Right, okay. Stick some bricks on top of that now because I don't want that to move. Okay. Bit of a fat, but there you go. So the reason I put the bricks on really is just in case that stick, because uh, I haven't used this set before. Just because, just in case that stick grabs, um, I'll need to try and have something to pull against. So right, I'm just going to give that a final once over, and then. Once give it a final once over, then I'm gonna stitch uh, well stitch it, I'm gonna tag it. A welder I am not. <laughs> so let's have a look. Say so it's only really to hold this. So I'll get it to, to Dave. So that's the whole point of what I was just doing. A couple of tags, missed some of it. <laughs> uh, I just tapped that uh, slag off there, and um, here yeah, Dave will seam weld that now, and it should be perfect for the roof. Okay, that's ready for Dave later, so you get the idea. Uh, so it's just the right angle of the dangle for the roof. Then a six inch uh, cap, will, a fluke top will sit on top of that. Um, it'll all become clear as it goes in. But right now I need to get this off to Dave. And here he's a damn sight better welder than I am. So the whole point was just to tag that in three places so Dave can do a proper job on it.
Okay, something else to do. My friends just doing those uh, bow doors. Well, bow door inserts, just painting them before. So they go in, they begin there. So it gets plenty of paint on them before I, uh, I bond them in. Uh, I've just come from work and I'm at it again. Yeah, there's no risk for the wicked, and you must be really wicked. Um, <laughs> We probably could do it with these as well. We could. We need to do the edges, Bob, if we can. Yeah. Yeah. So do we do the edges and, and pop patch book? These. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, uh, it's it'll seal them because they're exposed to the weather and stuff. We we need to do the insides as well, I think. Okay. okay. Mark, you crack on with that, and I'll crack on with something else I don't really know about. <laughs> Hello. Um, <laughs> Thought we'd better wear do the scores on the doors. We haven't done it for a while. We think we've got everything down. I think we've got most stuff, yeah. Uh, so, here we go again. Our last balance was £16,083. Since then, we bought more wood oil, a free view box, the deck flange, that's for the... Flue, yeah, flue. where the flue goes out the boat. Stanley steel tube, again, for flue. the flue. Our curtains... That's the material only, isn't it? We've yeah, material. We don't know what the charge is for pouring them together yet. Yeah. Curtain rails, more CT1, is it? Yep. And coloured CT1. The coloured CT1 the, yeah. for the, the inserts. Uh, and the window liners. Yeah, it's a big which number. It's a big number of £650. Yeah, they are. Really that. good, but hey ho, there you go. So at the moment, then, we're at 17,336. Um, Mark Zowers, 287-ish, we've ish. sort of guessed again, yeah, and, ish, yeah. and mine's just under the 200. Yeah, there we go. And we hope that's up to date. It's just close, isn't it, though? Yeah. It's close. Right, no slacking. <laughs> I've got paint on my uniform. Well, you knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Might wash out. Right, we just realised we've already we've already done a... A tally for the window liner, so I just need to take that off. <laughs> yeah, it's a big number. We've had it on there, wasn't it? So minus six fifty, which is one, one six six eight six. Six, six eight. Yeah. That's a bit better. That's a bit better, yeah. We, <laughs> we just found the old bit of paper, didn't we? And we thought, yeah. oh, hang on, we already did that, so. Okay. <laughs> partition wall up and he's just uh, giving it a quick sand before we oil it or stain it or something. That's my bit done, now Fran's doing her bit. <laughs> so yeah you can see those are planks, kind of, uh, they're about, they're about uh, 20 mil thick so the wall is done on both sides if that makes sense I haven't got to put battening up and all that sort of stuff um, maybe ignore some of the little bits that are stuck on the roof there that's why I'm only temporary just so I can get a lot of alignments done um, yeah so we've given that a light sand uh, on the other side will be a heavier sand with like a, a cream a cream wash or something like that the bathroom isn't it? the bathroom side yeah uh, once the fridge goes back in, I'll put the the rest of the wall, the, the the boxing in for the fridge freezer, and then we'll obviously have those three units along there. So it makes the fridge freezer look like it's um, it belongs there rather than just stuck out like a sore thumb. So yeah, we're cracking on with that. Uh, Thousand one jobs as always. Um, yeah, just uh, just a quick thing that that partition there, if you look. By Fran's feet, that's a bit of aluminium angle. 
the old drill through the back and then that'll fix the other planks for the uh, for the fridge let's say enclosure to the bottom of the wall and I'll fit this is just very very temporary and I'll fit, fit some uh, more decorative battening than that <laughs> but, uh, up on the ceiling but where I've put screws that, that just as temporary they'll be hidden anyway so right so Fran's getting on with that uh, got a little bit of oak beading to try as well but yeah um, so that that's as it is now the you want this one to look a little bit more rustic don't mind this one. yeah it's, rather than the clean stuff you know a bit of it's a bit of contrast isn't it I think yeah. but we'll put a probably put a fairly decent sized clock on the top of there in the center of the boat and where the where the fridge is where Fran stood now There'll probably be a rather large spice rack of some description that will sit on there as well. So, again, clean and and rustic, trying to blend those things together. What we sort of do is every we sort of do a job, or as much as I mean, there's mouth made a right mess there. Do a job, do as much as we can. Stop, and we tidy everything up, put everything back again, <laughs> don't we? Okay. And, and then we start again. <laughs> Otherwise, you're just living an absolute tip. So you know we're trying to keep this um, a bit a bit tidier. Oh yeah, I bonded those door inserts on. Again, they've got to have trim all the way around and the glass as well. So if it looks a bit rufous, rough cut, it's because it'll all be hidden. Um, and I've got to put some wood at the bottom where those vents are, if you can see. So on with that. Um, I haven't seen Dave today, so I don't know if uh, me, me collar's done. But uh, I'm in no rush to cut a six inch hole. So yes, here's the, <laughs> here's the cutter. <laughs> it's huge. So what I'm gonna try and do, no, I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna do, is I'll take this wood back down up here and, uh, and I'll make, I'll tape a load of plastic and whatever, like a bit of a, a cocoon. Um, to try and catch any swarf. So rather than, and move the, move the stove, move everything out of the way, rather than drill at the top, uh, those, those spin swarf everywhere, I'm never gonna find it all. So I'll try and make a bit of a, a catchment area here where I, I do catch it all, and it's not outside rusting into our paint. So I'm gonna drill from underneath up. Oh. Right, okay, uh, so fun's halfway through that now. Um, and I better go find something else to do. Okay, Fran's doing a, a quick coat on that one. Are you not? I am. <laughs> so yeah, there might look like there's a lot of timber there, and, and you God, there is. Um, but if you think about it, um, if I zoom in a bit, sort of where, where Fran's up, um, varnished to, that'll be all worked up anyway, so. And units. And you, yeah, that's what I mean, work un yeah, units. Um, so really, you will only see that this, so topic, this top half yeah top half on there and of course you see that but we're trying to make that a bit of a feature wall anyway something that looks a bit looks a bit i suppose a little bit rustic but um a little bit of character eh? yeah yeah um and i think we, we're sort of thinking because this is the da, 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 that's the scent so we, we're thinking about putting a maybe a a nice clock up there or something. I've, I've done quite a bit this week that I didn't film for some reason, but I did film a lot. Um, yeah, that's sort of lined as well now, ready for the kitchen units to come in. Not that they're due anytime soon, because we can't afford them, can we? Nope. So we're going to give the boat a little bit of a tidy now, and uh, and that'll be it for this week, I think. So, yeah, we'll do. So, you're going to wave about tat off, Ronnie? Um, it's your birthday this weekend. It's my birthday this weekend, that's why I'm doing no more after today. So, obviously, I'm going to take you out over the weekend. Are you? Yeah. So, if anybody wants to uh, buy him a coffee for his birthday, or someone else, or someone else, <laughs> <laughs> please send it along because uh, he deserves a break this weekend. Oh, no, I'm having a break this weekend. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that wall, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, needs a bit more work. 
all those, I've got to take all those panels back off. It might seem like um, sort of getting them all in, in the right place first. What I'll do, I'll take, it, take each one off and then I'll put dowels and glue dowels in each, each plank so the wall becomes like one unit. So we were calling it a day. So this birthday boy is off to have a... A celebratory drink. Because I think... Well-deserved it, drink. It's Wednesday. My birthday's Saturday. So I think my birthday week should be today. No. Yes. No. Yes. Tomorrow, maybe. No, today. I've got till, to work tomorrow. So have I. Uh, today till uh, next Wednesday. So my birthday week. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Teddy bye then. Are you going to say bye bye or carry on bushing? Bye bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please Thank subscribe. We're nearly at 2,000. So yeah, thanks, please guys. Yeah, keep subscribing. And uh, we'll crack on. Next one, I will be drilling a big hole in the roof. Ooh, scary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you guys. See ya. Thanks, bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.